one of the cool things that you can do with Kinetic Text Animator is create meme animations. It's very simple and easy as I'll show you. I just did this funny one here. I used a classic movie phrase and I just wrote one does not simply create meme animations without Kinetic Text Animator. It's kind of funny, very simple and easy the sort of thing that, you know, communicates you have a sense of humor and um, very commonly will, will be shared and it's just, you know, fun. So um, if you're doing, if you have, let's say you have a business and it's, let's say, I don't know, real estate, you know, so you might just do one does not simply buy a home without and then, you know, fill in your, you, know, you or your client's company. Uh, very simple. So I created this whole thing in just a few minutes, very easily, I'll show you. Uh, so I used the pepper blast animation. I specified the screen area down here because there was a nice kind of area in, in this. It, it was it kind of darker and provides a little contrast. There is a little white thing here, but that was it doesn't really compete that much. So uh, we're fine. And uh, it was just, you know, that simple. I, I used Impact, note that, because um, Impact is a common one. I just used the font browser, used my local fonts, and found Impact instead of, uh, that, that wasn't available in the built-in fonts here, So, uh, but I can, was able to do that, no problem. Very common font used in memes. So, so just to kind of keep it where it's not feeling weird, you know, especially if I, I was planning on posting this on Facebook. Um, and, you know, used phrases instead of words, I think I said that. I did tweak the, the sizing a little bit to get it right. Used white and added a drop shadow just to make it pop a little bit better. And other than the only other thing that I had to do was it came in at nine seconds and I felt like it was just a little slow. So I, I first dragged it out to 12 seconds and then I played it and, and I felt like it, then it was a little, uh, just pausing a little long. And so I, I, I dragged it back to the, basically I added a half second for each of the phrases at 10, you know, by putting it at 10 and a half seconds. Again, it was originally at nine. And uh, I played it and, and I'm sort of, one does not simply, okay, I got it create meme animations, okay, I got it. And so it, it allows people to kind of do a couple things. One, they get the phrase, if they're slow readers are gonna get it. But the other thing in particular for that first phrase is you want them to get that or, or when however long you're gonna associate it with that classic, you know, quote, you want them to, you want to give them just a second to get it, you know, get, you know, get the association. Uh, that's usually gonna be pretty quick, but you just, just need that slight pause so they can get it. And um, because, you know, they, they could be distracted, they could have not, you know, you're trying to also make sure that, you know, if they were looking away if, and then and then were able to kind of glance over, there's still just enough time to kind of get it um, and so forth. So you know, that, that that's really the timing here was easy to create. And then I just export it out as an MP4. Now I'll, I'll show you how I found, found these uh, images. I just went on Google here and all you have to do is do, uh, in this case, um, I actually did, I knew that the quote was one does not simply uh, blank memes, but if you don't know it, you can use the generic one as well. But the nice thing about using the specific one is uh, does not simply, I'll put that in. And uh, when I do that, they come up with a bunch and I can roll over them and get one. I, I, I was looking for one with a slightly bigger size. There's the one I used. 600 by th uh, 354. I, I like to be roughly 600 wide when I'm doing a Facebook uh, something uh, meme. Um, it's, it, it, it seems to be about the right size. I don't want to waste too much time with it, but um, you know, I just rolled over and kept looking at these. A lot of them are going to be maybe just this, uh, uh, the same thing, just a different, uh, you know, located on a different site. But, um, you know, I, then I just clicked on it, uh, right clicked, or actually did a view image and then right clicked and then download image. And uh, last thing I did, or, or one uh, little step there was I opened it in Photoshop. It's just, beha I, I have Photoshop open anyways, uh, and I use it all the time. So I, I just did that so I could check the stage size. And that allowed me to go into Kinetic Text Animator and go into the settings over here and specify 600 by 354, click on new states, uh, set new size, well, that's kind of important. And then I, that's that's when I added my animation and it was just minutes, very simple, very easy. So, um, you know, one of the cool, just a little tip, if you're gonna go do that Google searching, um, all you really need to do is, let's see, where is that? I, I'm pretty sure that's open now, there we go. Uh, you know, you might do just meme blanks instead of um, looking for uh, if you're if you're trying to come up with ideas, you know, blank or blank meme, 
Uh, you can, I'm not going to do that because sometimes it, come, it comes up with some naughty images and I don't want to see that. Um, but um, you get the idea. So if you're, if you're even just kind of stuck trying to get an idea in the first place, you can do something like that. Um, and that, that'll get you going and it's very, very simple from there. And then I just, you know, post it on Facebook. I did it as a MP4. And one neat thing is it does loop. Um, one thing that, you know, I, I've seen once or twice, and that is that the first phrase is a slightly different color and it sort of subconsciously lets people know that that's the first phrase. Um, so, you know, you, that's one thing you could potentially do. But uh, otherwise, it's super simple and, um, you know, that's the sort of thing that you can do uh, very quickly and easily with Kinetic Text Animator and add it to your arsenal. Um, if you're doing kind of an ad package, you can, you know, present this to your clients and say, hey, you know, we're going to do, you know, standard ads, but we're also going to do something like this as a shareable kind of, you know, down to earth, uh, you know, fun component to your package. And so it's a great thing to do. And of course, if you have your own product line or something like that, this is the sort of thing that you can, you know, do once in a while to keep your social momentum going and uh, just kind of keep it fun and, and, and engage your viewers. So very quick and easy to do. I hope you have a lot of fun with this. I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with.